This next play is called Evolution. The characters are Frid, played by Daniel Langmire, Nella, played by Katherine Berg, and Otto, played by Lynn Langmire. Now, the setting is a jungle, sometime in the early Paleocene epoch. As the lights come up, lights, Fred is sitting on a tree branch. Nella enters. Both of them are small, furry, tree-dwelling creatures. Otto, who will appear later, is a kind of reptile. Fred, what are you doing? Thinking. What? There's no time for thinking. We've got stuff to do. Like what? Like hunting, uh, killing, uh, eating. I don't feel like doing that just now. Don't feel like doing that, Frid. We're warm-blooded. Do you know what that means? We have to maintain a body temperature that's considerably warmer than that of our environment in order to stay alive. This means that we must eat a much larger amount of food than cold-blooded animals of a similar body size. I know that, Nella. Then stop lying around and join me in getting some food. Rumor has it that there are some tasty grubs in that big bumpy tree by the river. We should get there before everybody else does. It's just, do you ever think, is this all there is to life? Chasing down food and eating it? Yes. <laughs> I think about that a lot, actually. I think, thank God. Whatever that is. Uh, there's nothing more to life than getting and eating food. It just seems to me that there should be more. Oh, and sex, of course, but only in season. Can you imagine being sexually active all through the year? It would be so distracting. But don't you have any kind of ambition? What do you mean? Well, remember the dinosaurs? The what? Dinosaurs. You know, those titanic creatures who used to walk the earth, keeping us in constant mortal fear and forcing us to retreat into the trees for our own safety, leaving them undisputed masters of the earth. Oh, those dinosaurs. Remember, there was this big explosion, and then the sky turned gray with ash, and all the dinosaurs died, just like that. Actually. I think it took a couple of centuries. Well, in geological terms. So what's your point? My point is that with the dinosaurs gone, there's a power vacuum. Right now, no one is master of the Earth. Well, why not us? Um, because we're tiny insect-eating tree dwellers? Well, who says we have to be like that forever? We could grow big. We could? How? We could evolve. What does that mean? It means to change. You know, the dinosaurs weren't always giants. At first, they were no bigger than a house cat. What's a house cat? I have no idea. <laughs> You're saying we could grow up to be as big as the dinosaurs were? That's right. That's a little hard to believe. It's the laws of nature, kiddo. So then what? We'd rule the world? Well, if we got bigger before anyone else does, we would. Just like the dinosaurs? Uh-huh. Until they all got killed because they got too big. Uh-huh. Wait, what? what? Well, when the sky got all dusty, it was the big creatures that all got killed off, right? creatures like you and me survived. What's your point?
Baby size is everything. That statement does not compute. Shh. I know it's coming. Should we hide? Too late. He's seen us. Hey, Fred. Hey, Noah. Hi, Otto. Hi, Otto. What's up? Not much. You're not going to eat us, are you? Mm, maybe. Please don't. Well, look, I ate the day before yesterday, so I'm good for the rest of the week. I can just sit in the sun for the next few days. Good to know. Yeah, that's right. You guys are warm-blooded, aren't you? Gotta be eating all the time. Man, that must be rough. It's who we are. Hey, I don't, didn't mean anything bad by that. You know, whatever works for you. I'm not judgmental. Good. Warm-blooded, cold-blooded, everyone tastes the same. Otto, I've got a question for you. Shoot. Why do you eat us? It's the law of nature, isn't it? Things eat other things. But why don't you eat, why do you eat us? Why don't we eat you? What? That's crazy. It's cause you're bigger than us, right? Well, that's a factor, I guess. But it's not everything. No, it's not. Remember when Greta got eaten last spring? She was pretty big. But six or seven of those ugly guys with the big teeth and the long hairy legs jumped her. They were smaller than her, but there were more of them, and they could go faster. She wasn't that much bigger than we were. If she was like 10 times their size, they wouldn't have gone near her. Hey, you guys aren't thinking of evolving, are you? Maybe. Why? What's the point? Somebody has to become the dominant life form. Ah, you don't want that. Take it from someone who's further up the food chain. It's a lot of responsibility having to keep the ecosystem balanced by making sure populations are kept in check. Much easier to be the chasee than the chaser. You're just afraid that if we evolve, we might start to bite back. I just don't want to rock the boat. What's a boat? I think maybe it would be interesting if we got big and started chasing you around. Well, I could get bigger too. I get bigger. And if I got big, I could eat you any day of the week. I wouldn't be taking time off between meals. Well, what if I got fast? Fast? Yeah, I actually have been doing some serious thinking about evolving. I'm going to lose the legs, all of them. Get rid of your legs? That's crazy. You won't be able to move at all. Sure I will. Worms move, don't they? If I get lean and long, I can whip along fast as a wet sneeze. Ridiculous. And then when I'm hungry, I can catch you and wrap my whole body around and squeeze. Say what? And then, and basically crush you. Then I can eat you. That's sick. It's an idea. I might just go for poison fangs instead. Oh yeah? Well, if I get big, I can just step on you. Oh, come on, Fred. This is stupid. Being big isn't everything. Oh yeah? You got a better idea? Uh, I was thinking we could get smart instead. Smart? Smart? Yeah. I think we could uh, increase our brain power uh, so we're more clever. What good would that do? Well, uh, we could... Uh, well, I mean, look at the dinosaurs. They ruled the planet for 150 million years. And they were as dumb as an old stump. Brains the size of walnuts. Actually, that's just a myth. And what about our paws? What about them? Have you noticed how hard it is to hold on to anything? Well, if one of our claws was kind of opposite, 
the other one, we could really get a grip on things. It would be easier to uh, hang on trees. Uh, or we could pick up rocks and throw them at someone like Otto when he's trying to eat us. Whoa, what's this rock throwing? Nella, I don't think you really get what evolution is about. If you want to dominate the world, you have to be bigger or stronger or faster than everyone else. Being smart or having weird opposable claws isn't going to make any kind of difference. Hey, how about this? I'll evolve my nose so, you'll get, so it'll get really long and can pluck fruit off trees and squirt water. You don't have to be rude. Actually, now that I've said it, it's kind of a neat idea. Well, how about this? I'm going to have a tongue that looks like a fork and that I can use to smell. Well, I'll grow a pair of massive teeth that curve out from my mouth and that I can use to spear things. All right, then. You know what I'm going to do? I'll develop the ability to uh, construct my own environment. I'll use my brain to harvest the resources of the earth to gain the energy needed to power the devices I create. As the years pass, I'll hack down the forests, dig up the ground, drain the oceans, transforming more and more of the planet into my own playing ground and leaving all you other creatures to inhabit whatever blasted wastelands I leave behind. I'll change the very nature of earth, sky, and water, and I'll make them all poison to you. Your teeth and claws will mean nothing to me, as I'll create ways to bring death from afar, Death by the thousands, death by the millions. You'll cry out in pain, fear, and anguish. But I'll show no mercy. By the time I'm done, I'll have torched this planet completely, leaving nothing behind but your burnt bodies and evaporating tears. That's how I'll rule the world. I'm totally kidding. Whew. You scared me there, Nella. OK. What do you guys think about ears? I think if I had a pair of massive ears, that would be just the awesomest thing.